All right, as you can see, I got the other two sections put in. It's just the same thing repeated. There's a lot of things that just get repeated in this build. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your pin numbers. It's very easy to set up your pin numbers. Just go count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. So what all you have to do is click the button and follow which light it goes to to set up your pin numbers. So I'm going to do mine real quick because I already know them by heart. So mine are two, six, and always make sure to put a block above this one so it does not pick up it. Two, six, and then nine should be right here. This is nine. And then two. So always make sure to put these blocks like so, so nothing else can pick up it. That's why we had to make this so much. This was why this has to be gapped like this. And then next, once you get your numbers put in, come to the back and then delete any repeaters that redstone go towards. So I'm going to delete every single repeater like so. Because this is the reset switch in case you put the wrong pin number in. And it does not, you don't want it to keep intertwining and getting stuck together. So it's just, you got to take those out or it'll never work. And now I'm going to set in my other pin numbers and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I put in my other two pin numbers, and I forgot to tell you that when you're build, putting your pin numbers in, the first number has to start from the back and work its way to the front, or else your pin number will be backwards. So, I put my other pin numbers in, and wherever the redstone led to, I broke the repeater in the back. You gotta make sure to break those, or it will not work right. It'll just keep resetting it, and won't ever put the pin number in. As you can see, I broke them here as well. And I also put in the track already. Because the track's pretty simple. So what you want to do is go to the top where you have your off torches. Put one more block up above it. And put a normal rail. And then put a powered rail. And then you want to make a nice little staircase down to exactly one block underneath this. Underneath where your nine digit starts. Just one block underneath it. And then you want to bring it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And don't link up the tracks to here yet. We don't need to yet. And we're going to put powered rails down right here with a detector here and a detector here. And on the first, your first pin number never needs a detector. You don't need it there. And this is what it should look like over here. Just make a 4x4 four four area on the, on the floor. And then put another one, a 3x3. A three three. And then you can put like a block here. Or you don't even have to set up this way. You could put like your de withdrawn deposit somewhere else. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to bring this out like so. Don't put the rails in yet because or else it will mess everything up. Trust me. And then we're going to bring these out like so. We're going to come out two blocks. And then we're going to put torches all along the back areas. And then we're going to put a repeater here, repeater here, and repeater here. These are just to power these power rails. They do nothing else. Next we take our redstone dust. And connect these two. Since I only have three of them. I only need to do two. And then we're going to come underneath the ones that connect with the dust and count down four so one two three four now we're going to break this block put a torch and break this block and put a torch and then do the same thing for this one one two three four break the block break the block and put torch oh i did not want to break the block that far and then we're going to put torches and next we're going to come right underneath it and we're going to add a repeater in between them. And put up the four ticks. They always go to four ticks. Then we're going to come out two. Set these both to four ticks. Like so. Set this back one to four ticks. This is if you add any more pin numbers in. So this would, this would be two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. Now we're going to come underneath these detector rails. And this is where we're going to be putting our T flip flops in. So you want to build down two, break that one, come out towards the powered rail. Make sure you come out towards the powered rail. And then add the back, I mean add the, yeah, add the back. Add the redstone dust, and do the same thing for this one. Come down two, add the redstone dust, and then put torches. And now we're going to add a block to this side. For the first, for the first T flip flop, do this side first. 
Always start from this side first so the block is on this side. You want the block over here. Come out. Put the other sticky piston. And now when we come to this one, we want to do this side first. Because the more you add, the more pin numbers you add, you have to make a zigzag with the T-flip flops or else it won't work. So let's add that other sticky piston. Or it could be a regular piston, doesn't really matter. And now we're going to hook it up to there. So what we're going to do is come down one from here, put our torch, come over here, come down one from here, and put our torch going this way because we want to make that zigzag motion. Then we're going to come out with our block. We don't need this one. Like so. Going to kind of like make a... I guess like an R, I guess. An R shape. If that makes any sense. We're going to put our repeater here. Set it to four ticks. Dust. And then dust along here. And then for this one, we come down two. And then we put a repeater here, set it to four ticks. And a repeater here, set it to four ticks. And dust. And then we bring our block out. Like so. And connect it to here. And then add dust. And then you just keep making that same motion over and over again, pretty much. At least, I'm pretty sure that's the motion I was making. Oh, actually, I didn't. That's uh, different. Huh. I came down one block from here. I went like this. And then this one came down two, I believe. Well, that should work out anyway. This should work just fine. Because I guess if we were to add another T flip flop in, make sure to do this side first. Put sticky piston going the right way. <laughs> Don't want to go in the wrong way. Bring it out. Add a sticky piston. Put our torch in. Even though I don't have a fourth pin number, I just want to make sure everything works out right. I don't want you guys to have to ask me <laughs> anytime soon. So here I went down. You know what? Let's add another repeater right here. And then it should work just fine. And everything should work just fine. Yep, and all we have to do is put a block like that. So, yep, everything should work out just fine, guys. Like so. As long as we put that block there. Alright, now that we got that all set up, we can add our rails in. So, take your normal rails, bring it down. Bring it down. And we want to start from this one first. You always want to start from this side and work your way down with the rails. So put our rail. Put our rail. And put our rail. Alright guys, we got our rails set up. Now all we have to do is put power to these rails. So all you have to do is come underneath. Put a torch along each one to power up these ones. And then come underneath these ones. And put a torch underneath here to power up these ones. Now we're going to test it out to make sure everything works. So let's put my first pin number in. Two, six, nine, two. The minecart comes down. That's good to see. Let's send it back. Put the other pin number in. One, four, eight, seven. Okay, that's not coming down. Oh, there's our culprit. There is our culprit. Got to put redstone down there, Michael. All right. So let's go back and do that again. One, four, eight, 
7. Minecart comes down. See how the track switches over because of the T flip-flop? Let's send it back. And now let's do the last one. 2, 6, 8, 7. Last minecart comes down. The T flip flops switch it over so it can go back up. And send it back. <laughs> it seemed like it was. I could add. Actually, let's add another power rail here. That can add some trouble to this. There we go. So, guys, there you have it. I know it's been a long video, but if you stuck around to the end, that's great. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys around on my channel in the future. Peace.